Hello everybody, so welcome to another video of my Teclas X98 uh, Air 2 version uh, of Chinese Windows 8.1 uh, tablet. So here uh, I wanted to show you some, some interesting stuff. Uh, yes, okay, thank you Norton. So basically I installed my Norton that is security. I have uh, one free k uh, so I installed that one and I don't understand why it doesn't want to focus on maybe hmm. it is out of focus now it is okay so basically I wanted to show you some interesting stuff uh, interesting stuff what I uh, did to my tablet so I connected my Bluetooth mouse you can see here so no dongle basically it is connected there and here I want to show you this this okay so what I did here you can see this is the basic the basic uh, speeds of uh, the read speed and the write speed of the de of the SSD the EMMC that is inside uh, this uh, this device and and you, as you can see uh, it is quite good uh, around 150 megabytes per second uh, read speed sequential read speed also always and write speed uh, around 50 megabytes per second. Uh, here do, don't uh, uh, don't see this. Uh, this is around only testing on 100 megabyte uh, my uh, 100 megabyte file, but uh, it will be relatively the same also on one gigabyte. So, but uh, uh, what I did, I did some tweaking. As, as you remember on the first uh, video, uh, I tweaked the device, my my main disk, and simply I removed the. Just take a seat here. I remove the indexation of the files, so basically this will uh, fast up your this is the much much more uh, the uh, or also EMMC much more compared to even you index the files on the drive. And what I did uh, next, I also uh, click at. Uh, Click uh, the registry file uh, of the uh, the tweaking. Uh, you can see it down there, down in the comment section. Uh, I tweak my EMMC more and see how much I get again. Around one third of the gain. So you can see my read speeds are now around 200 megabytes per second and write speeds around 70 megabytes per second. Here I have already one gigabyte. Uh, the testing. Uh, testing file so it is quite fast now really really the, the device simply flies so I'm really happy for that because the newest versions of the Teclas uh, 3G version has a Vwind uh, EMMC what is really really slow here is Hynix now the newest versions have Bwind and the Bwind speeds are around 130 megabytes per second read and around 40 megabytes per second write and it doesn't change even if you do this tweaking so this is something interesting I want to show you and next maybe the last thing here you can see the uh, read speeds and write speeds of my uh, SSD card I will just wait a minute my micro SD card from Samsung I will just open it up show you I use this you can see micro SD USS one UHS one yeah maybe this is how it's called uh, SD card 64 gigabyte pro version and check the speeds this should be guaranteed speeds but I got only these speeds why because the systems uh, is not uh, tweaked or not tweaked uh, the SD card speeds are not set for the higher higher speeds and I need to get the UFI BIOS and change it up by my own and I will make a video make a video how to do it and what will be the changes after that so what to tell you more um, this is not bad I can say this is much more faster than uh, class 10 but I want around four or five times higher speeds so uh, to get the B wind speeds <laughs> yeah okay 
So we have this done. I will maybe be able to. Okay, I close this up. Um, what I did more was was to show you what I want to show you more. Ah, I also did, did the 3D Mark uh, 2011 test. As you can see, there is uh, 204 points, also around two, around 200 points. So what is really good as well. The basic stuff, the the not not some tweaking done. This is the the demo version of the 3D Mark, and here you can see the Hines drive. It is quite good for the device tablet like this. Um, what this is the, this is the same result we will get on uh, big i3 or i5 versions of uh, notebooks because this is the same graphics chip, so doesn't really matter. Okay, we will close this up. Wow, well, now I want to show you the Specky program. So uh, basically, here you can see the the, the device uh, and the, the CPU. Um, this is the 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 family call version of Z three seven XX because. Uh, this is not correct. Here is uh, CPU Z37 uh, 36F version that got the turbo uh, turbo boost frequency to 2.1 gigahertz, but the basic clock is around the same on the all the family. You can see the instruction set ATC, also the temperature. What is interesting to note that also the modboard got the the own temperature signal, so. I will maybe make an uh, an uh, video uh, showing different temperatures when it's on load and when it's not on load. Uh, when I tried uh, yesterday the Freedom Mark version for around two hours uh, uh, to stress test my device, if I got the correct version, not the faulty one uh, with the faulty SOC, uh, it was not hard to touch basically, and it performed really well. Uh, why I uh, ran the 3 Mark version on it uh, was to test uh, if my uh, chipset and my CPU is uh, working correctly because the newest versions of the Teclas 3G version uh, has a faulty uh, SOC and is simply on 3D applications the device will froze and turn off. So that's why I uh, stress test it. So here you can see some ports, interesting uh, how many PCI Express ports got. Uh, here you can see the RAM on the how much uh, the the clock rate CL is is really nice. This is this is quite fast, I can say. The memory usage it's quite used up at the moment. Graphics. Hey, I wanted to show you the optical devices. No, the summary. Yeah, here's the LCD. You can see it's a 2K version, so basically 2048 to 1, 1536 at 60 Hz, so really fast. Here you can see the hard drive is from Hitachi. Yeah, Hynix is made by Hitachi, what is interesting. Pretty nice, smart, not supported. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, this is also interesting that my SD card uh, is not recognized, but it is maybe due to the here you see the name the generic 0005 uh, SD card. So this is something interesting, but it is maybe due it is formatted at XE fat because I don't know what is more recommended at the moment for the uh, Windows devices or XT fat or NTFS. So. Uh, what next to show you the audio here it, this is the only Chinese uh, Chinese versions of the audio I need to translate what this mean maybe get a better drivers or not and peripheral so here you can see signal yeah okay 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 and network this is uh, I'm really happy for this one for the real tech wireless um, run so this is really good and yep this much 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 things there so 
This is it. Maybe show you the. Again, this is interesting. Um, yeah. Um, device manager. So we went here. This is nothing uh, new from it, but uh, what I wanted to show you is I've connected my Bluetooth device. It will be here visible. Nah. Yeah, maybe, maybe this is it. Okay, I don't know what to show you more. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. Maybe try the uh, SD card, uh, the, not the SD card, the SSD uh, tweaking of the registries. Simply go down to the link uh, and there will be, uh, I will maybe also copy also the direct link for the registry tweak to test how your uh, device will perform before and after uh, for the uh, SD the SD card or disk tweak uh, disk performance test I use the crystal disk mark so this you can uh, be also available at uh, when you google it and um, let me know your results if you have the same results or not uh, I also wanted to show you this uh, maybe last thing uh, I bought the genuine version of the battery uh, battery bar so this is really nice nice uh, program to use and mm, about the battery of this device i'm really happy because uh, uh, i got the longest version uh, longest time it was uh, run for me it was 17 hours that includes also sleeping time but if i count out the sleeping time it was around 10 to 11 hours well i'm really really happy for the that much long better life this is amazing so okay i don't know what to tell more i hope you enjoy it please like subscribe uh, share and uh, give any ideas what you want to see on what i need to test or do you want to see on my tablet um overall i am still very happy and i think this is the great buy for 200 euro you can get at the moment really this device is light it's thin basically like ipad air it's fast for for the for the things you need to run and buy it simply if you can buy it now okay thank you again and see ya